everybody. This is Chad Roberts from RPG Geek. I'm here with Paul Heverstock from Six More Vodka. Yeah. We are talking about all this stuff you've got laid out on the table, which is the Genesis. Yep. So, Paul, tell us a little bit about the Genesis and what all this encompasses, and we're just going to clear this massive sea of books and reference materials and just enlighten us all about it. I will enlighten you. Prepare to be enlightened. So, Degenesis is a post-apocalyptic role-playing game. We actually call it Primal Punk because it's very edgy. It's a lot different than your general post-apocalyptic setting. Um, the way the world, world works, which is a very fully realized world, is that about 500, about 550 years from now, asteroids hit the Earth, mm -hmm. um, you know, messes up our society. We begin to build back up without realizing that those asteroids contain what we call in the game the primer, which is a virus that rewrites DNA. Mm -hmm. So over the course of a couple hundred years, people start to realize something's wrong, right? Plant life is mutated, animal right, life right. is mutated, um, humans as well. Um, so then humanity starts to take up the, 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 the sword and say, hey, wait, yeah. something's wrong here, Some, you know, another extinction level event, and it's something that we need to deal with, right? So when you're playing in the world, you belong to what we call cults, which are organizations that revolve around a worldview, right? Yeah. So depending on what kind of character you want to play, and there are various different sort of career paths within those cults that you can use, mm -hmm. that's how you would choose where you want to play. So we've got battalions who are your doctors and scientists of the future. They're the ones that diagnosed that there was this virus, right, that something's wrong. Right. So they decide to take up the sword and say, hey, we're the last line of defense against humanity. Right. So we're going to hunt down mutated creatures and eradicate them whenever we find spore fields because it's an airborne virus, you know, we're going to go ahead and try to you know, burn all that stuff out, try to save humanity, right? Um, you've got cults that are religious in nature, you've got cults that are militaristic in nature, um, you've got cults that are um, revolving around, hey, it's the end of the world, so yeah. and you know, So while you're it, talking right? about it, I'll just show, so this is the core book, this has got a lot of the cults in it. Yes. And so there's just a lot of evocative art on just all the cults and stuff like this. Yep. And, and so, and, uh, you just go on. I, yeah. you, you're the pro on this. Sure. I, I, so, so the main main set is two books, right? The book that you're looking at now right. is Primal Punk, and the second book is called Catharsis. This is our system. Uh -huh. Lays out all the character generation, all of the rules, um, lays out all the cults, all the bad guys. So people that, most of the bad guys are human, right? It's a lot of human on human conflict. Um, but you've also got these mutated creatures, whether they're human or not. Mm -hmm. The mutated humans we call psychonauts. Depending on how they were infected and how their DNA was affected, determines what kind of a psychonaut they are, right? Yeah. So you've got, and i got to watch what pictures I show. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, because this, is this just to be honest, this is a, this is not, this is more of a, for a, not, I wouldn't say a mature audience, but for a more refined audience that are into, like, more serious RPGs. Right, I mean, it's definitely serious. Um, the art can be a little edgy. I yeah. mean, I wouldn't say it's, it's not, you know, it's not over-sexual, but it's, it's sort of edgy and yeah. sort of you, disturbing, you have to, yeah. right? Um, you know, so when you look at, you know, look, Spore Beast, this is a person that's, um, yeah, you know, right, infected, right? right? Yeah. Um, you've also got Leperos, right? People that are infected. It just depends on how, you know, here's some fauna that was affected, right? right. So you can see what it does is it, it rewrites DNA and then changes how people look. Um, we've also got Amsumo. So these are machine men that have become corrupted over time. They can be good guys or bad guys. Yeah. The Psychonauts in the game can be good guys or bad guys um, because they may have, they're still intelligent, they have their own worldview, which is now... Once you become a psychonaut, which a player can't be, right? You've got to be a human. Um, but once you become affected with spores, what happens is you become part of this sort of hive mind. So your entire outlook on life changes, yeah. right? You're not human anymore. Yeah. So let's take a look. I know you've got this laid out as the actual world that you're going to be living in. Yes. And I, there is, and this comes in the in the system book itself, So right? this comes in the GM screen, which you can see right here. Yep. Um, you can see the art on the top of the GM screen. It's nice. It's you know, really thick. It stands up very well, right? Right. Um, so all the rules on the inside, you've got the art on the outside, and the world you know, comes with yeah, it. Yeah, this map is amazing. It is cool. This So it's, it was a European game originally, a German language oh. game, so we're headquartered in you know, Europe and Africa. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Yep. Um, so you can see marked on the map, sort of these larger um, word, that's where the craters are, the impact craters of the asteroids, from which this prime or this virus is sort of spreading, spreading out and out. impacting humanity. Um, in Africa, a little different. There were no actual impacts, but a, a, you know, a meteor went across Africa and sort of burnt out a big part of it. Um, Africa in this world, of 500 years in our future, survived the apocalypse much better than Europe. Um, so the African clans, and there are three that you can play, mm -hmm. um, have banded together in sort of a nation, and they are now invading Europe, sort of a little payback for thousands of years of the other, right? I gotcha. um, so there's a ton of different ways that you can play in the game. Um, the, the world is amazing. So the two books that make up the box set, um, one of them is 410 pages of just setting. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's, there's so the, much I here. mean, you've got all these expansion books for it, yep. and it's just, so 
if people want to find out more about this stuff, I mean, can they get this at their local game store? Do they go through you or? Yeah, so you can go through me. Um, you can actually go through Six More Vodka's website. They sell it. We also put it out on eBay, um, which is a little bit cheaper for shipping because it's shipped from here in the States. Right. Um, if you go through Six More Vodka website, it's shipped from Berlin, so a little different. Um, we also have PDFs on the website that you can get. Um, if you buy books, you get the PDFs free. Um, we do sell at conventions as well, and we're working on a distribution deal with Six More Vodka, so hopefully in the not-too-distant future, sure. you'll be able to see this in your friendly local game store. Fantastic, Paul. Thank you for showing us this. My pleasure. And uh, from Paul and myself and everybody at RPG Geek, have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.